Welcome once again to The Breakfast. We're moving into a totally different conversation now. We're going to be talking about market fires and, of course, uh, fire safety, fire safety regulations, all of that that you need to learn as we, of course, move to maybe the driest time of the year. Um, not long ago, a couple of hours ago, we spoke about the K2 Plank uh, market fire and others that have taken place in the country in the last long while. This morning, we've invited uh, Dr. Olufemi Okeo Saintolu to join join us uh, and uh, have this conversation with us. Good morning and thank you so much for your time, sir. Good morning. All right, oh, we'll just go straight up to it and ask what is the latest from the Katu market? Has the situation been brought under control? Well, the situation has been brought on, um, under control. Uh, the, the, all the First responders responded to the incident that occurred on the Muni Street. K2, it affected the, uh, the plant market. And um, our response was prompt, effective, and efficient. And then, um, however, today, We've commenced clearing of the bond properties. We've commenced holistic enumerations of those people that are affected. And secondly, we have uh, commenced a, 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 a sort of um, sensitization and then um, a way we are trying to carry out some advocacies to other market area states all right so before, before we go ahead with the advocacy sir may, may i just ask has the cause of the fire been established and could it have been prevented well you see all these could have been being pre prevented really if they keep to the safety measures from the information that we gathered that the incident occurred as a sort of upsurge of uh, electricity and which means some people in that market do not of their lives while they are not using it and again what we've been emphasizing people are not keeping with the rules and regulations and that simple rules is that um, don't keep inflammable substances inside your shop inflammable substances like petrol like diesel like chemicals that are very inflammable keep it inside your shop and ensure that um, the wiring of your shop are done with quality materials if ACs, air conditioner are not being in used they should be put up so these are the things that always lead to this kind of if uh, all right all right, I want to I want to um, ask you know something in a different direction. What is or what work is being done to improve on the response time from emergency fire uh, services here in Lagos and across the country? Um, has there been any improvement? Has there been any you know maybe you know buying better equipment? Um, what really must be done and has been done to improve on the response time when there is a fire? Uh, because I'm sure that it will protect you know, uh, more people and save a lot more if we had the fire services get there in time. Mm. There are a lot of things that the administration of Mr. Babajide Olushola Olu is doing to improve our response time. Today, in Lagos State, we operate our emergency response in form of Eastern Command Control Structure. And then 
again which you need to appreciate now is that uh, you will always see us working together we are improving our the way we respond to any form of emergency by ensuring that we are carrying out a sort of simulation exercises between ourselves we are sharing a lot of information between ourselves we are purchasing sophisticated equipment for us to respond as quickly as possible and again which is the most germane in all this is sensitization advocacy of our people in all the local governments we have established local emergency response team or committee the purpose of this is that we can kickstart our emergency response from the local government all right, let, let, me, let me ask you, let's, let's uh, move the conversation to another direction now. As per measures that citizens can take, uh, we, we are in a season that everything is almost very flammable. And like that um, area was plank. Yes. Very flammable um, uh, materials around. What measures can citizens begin to <coughs> put in place to avoid a situation that will lead to a fire outbreak? Firstly, in all what we are doing, we should imbibe safety measures. And the uh, safety measures should start from our home, vehicles, our working place. How do we ensure safety in all this? Firstly, we are your house, your working place is being located is very very important you must locate your house your working place in such a way that, that will not impede free flow of drainage system you must ensure that wiring of your house to be done with the quality materials there should be no naked fire like candle like um, the way you store your petrochemical, you don't store petrol inside your rooms. There should be a place that you can store minimally. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be encouraged to be storing uh, petrol or any inflammable substances. All right. If, but, and secondly, you must have fire extinguishers in your home okay you must ensure that all your electrical appliances that are not really in you should be put off all right sir um, you, I, I, want, I want to want... get um i i want to want you to speak on the conversation around fireworks this holiday season uh, we're talking about myself and Usaugi, we're talking about it earlier from the newspapers and i wanted to get your perspective on it what is the official position on use of fireworks this season and how right. can citizens avoid its escalating situations of fire Firework has been, you should not store it. It's highly inflammable. You should be careful, extremely be careful concerning it. I remember 26, 2014 at the um, Udogewa area where uh, fireworks were stored inside a storeroom and uh, the temperature of storage changed and uh, there was a lot of fire inferno. So I'm appealing to our people that they should not store fireworks. They should ensure that they conform with the rules and regulation that guide the fireworks. There is, there is um, of course, uh, an extensive conversation on the roles that citizens need to play. Um, the, the need to always have a fire extinguisher in your, in your marketplace or in your home, in your car. You know, you can, we can never, you know, stress that um, uh, too much. 
Um, but I, I always like to also remind us of the role that the government should play. So quickly share with us um, about government regulations with regards building materials. Um, there's, I'm sure you would know, a lot of fake um, substandard um, building materials are, you know, that are being used across the country that are not fireproof or you know, don't have any fire safety uh, measures um, with them. So quickly speak about that, the regulations that the government maybe should put in place with regards um, fireproof building materials or fire safety building materials. And then um, second also is uh, with regards... Um, Oh, you, let, let's start with that first. You know, we'll get to another one. Firstly, you need to appreciate that this administration established and empowered some agencies like Safety Commission, like Building Controlling Agency, and uh, the Fire Services. What I would appeal to the good people of Lagos State is that they need to abide with their rules and regulations. Because they are in our locality, they are in our local government, the people, whenever you are building structure, you need to apply to all these agencies. They will come and conduct what we call monitoring and evaluation of the materials that you are doing. You need to do clear, solid material testing of your structure. But are these things being enforced? I know, I know that these are, um, are the laws that I believe are in place, but are they being enforced um, as we they are, speak? They are being enforced. The monitor, they, are, they are carrying a lot of monitoring and evaluation everywhere. What I will appeal to the good people of the gods is to abide with these rules and regulations because it's, it is for their own benefit. I okay, I, I, I wanted to talk about, there's a part, there's a press release from your office that talked about heavy duty vehicles that still plied roads. Um, yesterday, not far from our office, there was a massive trailer Yes. across the yeah, road and market. people had to find a way to maneuver to even get in two weeks ago one actually made a mess of uh, my car so what is the rule for those who um those drivers who continue to flout the rules about using certain roads what is government doing especially this utah period well the the vio the last part the FRC has been put into lead alert. And um, what I would appeal is that our people need to abide the rules, especially the articulated people. Because if you look at the menace being formed as it is a law, and we keep on carrying out sensitization and advocacy to their organization. For example, a tanker that's supposed to carry 30,000 liters of is due to stop of overloading carrying about 45,000 liters. Secondly, there are some of the drivers highly infected or very very They will be taking drugs. They will not they will not let their vehicles are well maintained and the tires being used by them are not okay. All right. So, all this always to challenge it around the quickly, quickly, yeah. just before we say goodbye, um, one final question from me is with regards the building plans that a lot of markets in Nigeria have. How, as of course you're the Director General of SEMA, how in any way have you spoken with, you know, with the government with regards to enforcing certain rules in the building plans of some of these markets? For example, if there is a major fire in one of the biggest markets in Lagos today, how confident are you that your trucks or fire trucks can get deep into the market to the place where the fire has started? If you, yes, are lucky to get there in time. 
are there rules with regards to the building plans of some of these markets um, to ensure that your fire trucks and fire vehicles can get to the exact spot where um, it is, it is uh, burning? And then also, would you advise that markets, um, the marketers and traders start their own little makeshift fire services inside the, the market? Yes. Yes, that is, that is the plan. We will establish a market shift fire services in, in, in the market. We have inaugurated market and markets committee in all our markets. These are the committee that will be carrying out a lot of monitoring and evaluation and ensuring compliance among the market people. And they are assist us in carrying out safety sensitizations within the markets. Okay, now talk, talk about the building plans so, so we can go. Uh, quickly share your thoughts on the, the building plans of these markets to enable your vehicles get to um, hotspots. Firstly, we've improved our view in terms of we have fire hydrants. We are going to put fire hydrants close to all our uh, our uh, our market and we are building fire service stations not far from our major market we look, we look at different locations oh. and we are we are coming up with more fire service um i, I wish we had stations. more time to continue this conversation I, we, we must say thank you very much um uh, we're, we're out of time thank you so much for joining us on the breakfast thank you have a good day all right um well, important conversation. It's, it's a Christmas um, outside Nigeria and Australia and California. They very likely will be fighting major fires, uh, wildfires this year. So we should do what we can to also protect ourselves and ensure that we are safe. Okay. Um, the executive director, Lasema, um, Mr. Olufem, uh, Dr. Olufemi, okay, Osain Tolu. Uh, we're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we're moving straight into a conversation with regards COVID-19, vaccinations. Where are we? Stick around.